Okay, so today we've got a quick look at Dale of Merchants 2. Now, those of you who listened to the podcast last year will know that Dale of Merchants was one of my favourite games of last year. So as soon as I saw the sequel come up on Kickstarter, uh, it was definitely something that I backed straight away. Uh, it's a game that you can mix with the original or you can play it standalone. Uh, I'll quickly go through the rules as we go through the components. So let's open this up and have a look. Okay, so the cellophane is off. So... If you just have a quick look at the back, as you can see, it's all very similar to the original game. Uh, there's 110 cards, a game board, and a custom die inside the box. And let's have a look at the side there. There you go. It's for ages 10 plus, two to four players, and it says it takes about 30 minutes. So let's have a look inside. This is the uh, expansion I got, which we'll have a look at in a moment. So, look at that. so there we go. We've got a nice little advertisement board there. And this is the play board. So this is the marketplace where cards go. So uh, you can see we've got two sides there. There's that side and that side. The manual. So anyone who's played the original will be very familiar with the rules. Um, but also the animal decks in this are different. So as I say, you can mix and match them with the, the ones from the original. Each type of animal has got their own style of gameplay. So and here are the decks. I'll open those in a second. There's the custom dice or die, which is for the the reckless marbled polecats. So it was the lucky raccoons in the uh, uh, the last one. So it's the polecats in this one. So there's that. So let's just open these. So here we go. So let's just move the box out of the way for a moment. So you can see the different decks for the different types of animal. So if you didn't play the original, the uh, it's a deck building game and the aim of the game is to get uh, a stall uh, built in front of you, uh, but you'll, f eight, you'll have eight piles. So the first one is has to equal one point, and the second one has to equal two points, and then the next one has to equal three points, and you keep going on. But you can use any combination of uh, numbers to, to get the total, but you have to build them up in the right order. And, and you'll choose Depending on how many players you've got, you'll choose a different combination of decks uh, of animal folk to play with. And you've got all these junk cards as well, which don't mean anything. So the, the art style is very similar. Well, it's almost identical to the first one, obviously, because the cards need to fit in. The backing is the same. So that's the, the base set. And we've also got here the Systematic Euro, Eurasian Beavers. So that's what came as a like a little add-on uh, for Kickstarter for meeting one of the stretch goals. So let's take this one apart. Okay, there we go, the beavers. So this just explains to you what sort of deck the beaver deck is. And you've got, uh, oh, that's like a, I don't know what that's for. Uh, that's interesting. That's just like the market deck. So maybe that's so you can play without the board and just have a card showing you what the different prices are. And yeah, there's the, the pack. So very much looking forward to playing this. Oh, we've got a few more junk cards here, different style of junk. And then uh, if you want more, you can go to snowdaledesign.fi or your friendly local game store for more goodness. So it says there. So yeah, there you go. That's a quick look at Dale of Merchants 2. So if you love the first one, you'll definitely like this. And uh, if not, then you can get them both and mix them all together I suppose if you want to do that so yeah Dad of Merchants 2 um, probably available online now so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time